Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play King's Quest. In the previous episode, we took on both the duels of speed and strength, and won with a bit of trickery involved. And now, it's time for us to head back to the arena for the duel of wits against Manny. But of course, heading back to the arena isn't that simple. This is why we need that pastry from Wenty. I hope you find this to your liking, Princess Madeline of Avalon. Yeah, if you didn't the have that... between the Bridge Troll Guild and the Royal Guards is at an all-time high, and we need to come to an agreement soon. Your bridges need to stop stonewalling us and give us your demands. We need you to watch your step when crossing our backs. Give more respect to the giant whose shoulders you're stomping on. Well, we need you to stop complaining and get back to work. We are sick of getting walked all over. You're just looking at the problem from your perspective. We all have to work together. The problem is there are no bridges. You're a bridge and you're not doing your job. Ha, oh, jeez. We've been doing our job for generations. You've worn us down and we need you to think about a softer touch. Your agreement with Daventry clearly states you are to provide bridge services at the designated locations. And it states that you are to be kind to the bridges. While we're hardy structures, we also feel each and every step we take. I'm sorry. The issue remains. We need you to return to work. And we need you to stop sharpening your boots every night. That's impossible. We are required by the guard mandate to maximize boot sharpness every evening. Oh, come on. Work with me here. All we're asking is for you guys to take lighter steps. And not conduct the official march? Never. Tradition dictates the harshness of our steps. Then perhaps you need to change your official march from flamboyant huffing a boot to graceful gliding in soft shoes. No can do. It took us months to memorize our current march. Oh, you're always crossing us, and this time we are holding strong for a compromise. If you continue to suspend your services, King Edward will banish you to the pit of never-ending itches. Gersh, I just need you to find a way to work with me here. Back to work! Softer steps! Stop eating guards! Better maintenance! Longer hours! Weekends off! Stop eating snoots! Stop the stomping! Stop the... Stop! Good lord. Wait, I feel like we're arguing in circles. What are your demands again? We need you to watch... Ooh, for me? Oh, they feel as though I am walking on clouds. And the craftsmanship, stunning. Can you order one pair for each of the Royal Guards? Mm, well, it does look soft and cuddly, but that's not accounted for in your mandate. I could create an addendum for that. We could still sharpen our boots and march as we wish, but these socks would protect you. Oh, jeez, that would just be the best. A real compromise that we could all live with. I think that's exactly what you should do. Thanks, Graham. The Guild will never forget this. See you at the next meeting. The new socks soften the guards' souls. It was definitely a step in the right direction. I'm warming up to these. I'm just glad the trolls never had to suffer the agony of defeat. Boo. All right, now it's time to get on with the duel of wits. Welcome, friend, to the championship duel of wits. Well, the take-home version. Budget cuts or something. But, uh... Look around, take it all in, and know we've already won. Our allegiance guarantees us both a spot on King Edward's court. How exactly is this going to work? <laughs> Before we get to the rules, I offer a toast and an opportunity. You see, while this game might stretch the imagination, for some I find it rather simple and in need of an additional mental challenge. Guards, the raisin juice, please. Oh boy, I know where this is going. <laughs> this is my favorite game. Well, it's been a long time since I last played it. 
Are you familiar with hypnotic powder? One sip of this, and you'll have to do everything I say. And, of course, vice versa. In goes the powder. Guard number two, if you would. Yeah, no matter what you do, you can't track the cup. This first one is always guaranteed. Hmm. I'll take this one. Whoa! Looks like you got the winner. And now, we play. So, the goal of the Duel of Wits is to hit your opponent's pawn with an arrow by moving these pieces around the board. Your pawn will fire an arrow after you move. I'll go first. After I move this shield, watch how the arrow bounces off the shields and around the board. That piece is supposed to make noise. Now it's your turn, Graham. <laughs> Not to sound like a royal guard, but as an additional rule, you can't move a shield your opponent moved on his previous turn. Will you please move the lower left shield to your left? I got no choice. I'm so happy we'll be working in the castle together, Graham. And if I ever become king, you'll make an excellent advisor. I'll move this shield, and they'll all have to accept it's what's on the inside that counts. Addendum, <laughs> you can move and rotate your pawn to change the direction you shoot. Will you please rotate your pawn clockwise? Your arrow will always fire in the direction you're facing. I do hope you realize all the planning I did to get us here. I'll just rotate this shield. Well, looks like the hypnosis powder is wearing off. Make any move you want. Not that it matters. It really doesn't. We can't win no matter what we do. Seriously, these pieces are supposed to be making noise. Huh. Looks like my intelligence has reigned supreme. Or like your trickery. Guards! Guards! I've won! Please review the winning board. We have to do something. Graham is about to lose. Seriously? You all know I won. Apologies, sir, but Decree 3214 specifically states that all dual victories must be witnessed and verbally notarized by a royal guard, such that it can be recorded for posterity in our tournament record. Unfortunately, the board was compromised before a final notary could be given. Therefore, this victory is nullified, and another game must be played. We really are sorry, and assure you will be able to achieve victory once again. You are the most ridiculous guards I've ever encountered. No matter. Merely a delay in my ascent to knighthood. I'm ready to beat you again whenever you're ready. Yes, well, before we do that, we need to make sure we can't get hypnotized again. And what better way to... No, not them. And what better way to do that than to dye one of the colors of the cups. Now, you can actually suggest using some hypno hyp yeah, yeah, hypnotizing powder on Manny, but I'm going to try to win this legitimately. Back so soon, raisin juice. <laughs> this all seems so familiar. Hypnotic powder. Now we know to go Mix for the white cup. Up. And now, 
you choose. How he doesn't notice that I've I'll died one, one of the cups, I will never know. Oh, excellent choice! And that was the last of my hypnotic powder. And now, we play. Here's hoping that noise glitch is fixed. Now, this is a duel of wits, and we need to think two steps ahead of our opponent. Want to try and box them in. And no, it hasn't fi been fixed yet. I wish I had other powders to make this game more interesting. I've seen enough magic powders for one day. Agreed. Can you believe what that brute was hiding in his belly? What a disappointment. Well, I am actually liked his art. I'm not proud of embarrassing him. <laughs> Graham, that dope will never accept us. He should keep to the knitting. Don't need to be such a jerk about it. Hmm. Odd, I would have expected him to rotate the other way. Still, that just makes it all the easier for me. Now it doesn't really matter what he does. Huh. So much for being such of a hot... Oh, uh, uh, sure you can handle a uh, win, Graham? It might be better. If... if I got to the castle first! Tuh. <laughs> He's getting scared. And he just screwed himself over. Not that it mattered what he did. He actually had other things to say about the other competitors, but, oh well. I'm not going to say no to a quick win. I did it! I did it! Guards, I am ready for Decree 3214.6 and a half! Actually, I think it was Decree 1.21. Bad. We knew you could do it. You're out of the Alliance. I can't lose to you. How about another challenge? We only got to square off in a duel of wits. A well-rounded gentleman would win in a duel of strength as well. Graham, take this. Excuse me, Lena. Excuse me, Lena. Um, here. Now, I've only ever seen what happens if you get the pie. I've never seen what happens if you go for, I think, the stink bombs is what they are. Oh, come on. But we're at the good part. I hit that button. I know I did. I did it. I did it. Guards, I am ready for Decree 3214.6 and a half. Actually, I think it was Decree 1.21. <laughs> we knew you could do it. You're out of the Alliance. I can't lose to you. How about another challenge? We only got to square off in a duel of wits. A well-rounded gentleman would win in a duel of strength as well. Graham, take this! Excuse me, Lena! Excuse me, Lena! Excuse me, Lena! Uh, 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 um... Here! Really wish they'd just take me to the beginning of the... QTE. Gotcha. Ooh. 
That looked like it hurt. Yeah. <coughs> okay, one more challenge. Uh, how would you fare in a duel of speed? No, Manny, it's over. Just as the battle isn't always claimed by the strong, and the race isn't always won by the swift, sometimes the intelligent falter. And I think now is my chance. And now is my time. Come on, Graham. One more duel for Achaka. Do it for the village of starving uh, pitch threeans. Oh, you said his village was home to the itch twins. What exactly is your plan here? Because I'm starting Duel to. Of speed! Oh. oh, Graham, he's not worth it. Shouldn't have stopped him. Because that's just going to come back to haunt us. The bridge strike resolved. Supplies can be delivered to the shops again. Business started to pick up. The Wetzel Wolves stopped harassing the town and migrated north. Even the guards marched with a little more caution in their step. All things considered, it was a pretty good first day in Daventry. That was... that was amazing. I mean, you faced a dragon, you made weird new friends, you battled for wits. I... I just don't get it. Get what? With your busy schedule, how did you ever find time for a night job? Huh? Was that... did you just make your first pun? I think I did. I'm not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> they grow up so fast. The tournament! It's about to start! Well, you best get out there, young lady. Good luck. And remember what I told you. Take on the duel with quick wittedness. Thanks, Grandpa. You've always guided me straight. Are you going to watch? Of course, of course. <clears throat> I'll be down momentarily. Hope you practiced, Gwendolyn. No, just listening to stories. What? <laughs> I'm not sure I like this. You're such a bizarre creature. Get back here! Ah! Oh, horse feathers. Egg! Exactly. Cannot believe I just said that. Children! Children! Come along, quickly! It's your grandfather! Bit of a shorter episode than usual. Oh wait, still got, still got the credits. Oh well, a good first chapter to start off our adventures in Daventry. But we will continue our adventures. I'm not gonna. Well, unlike the developers, there's not gonna be large spaces between each chapter in my Let's Play. No offense to the odd gentleman, you made a great game. So, if you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, and I'll see you guys for the next chapter.